Well, I guess on the outside it looks kind of like I left and then didn't really want to come back. But it was for me, it was more like I've always liked competing. This is just kind of what I do. I've spent so much time, like so many years, just playing competitive League of Legends. And it's something I really enjoy and passionate about. So competing has always been something that I've wanted to do. When I haven't been playing, it's more the case that I just didn't think uh, it was right for me at the time. Like either going through some personal stuff or like I just felt like my head was too clouded with like random things and I just wouldn't be able to be a good teammate because I never really want to subject my teammates to like having to deal with something that I wouldn't want to deal with. So if I'm really distracted or just getting worked up in game or like I, f I find myself tilting too much, then I'm like, okay, I just need to take a step back. Yeah, I remember tweeting that. It was definitely something I thought about because uh, I think the game, if there's no jungler, the game would need to like be rebalanced a ton, but in theory it could become like maybe more action packed, but I don't know. I think that if there's a game mode with no junglers, it would change the way that lanes are played quite a bit because right now there's so much of laning is just playing around this threat of kind of like an unseen rogue entity on the other team, right? When you don't have vision of the jungler, uh, you have to respect what happens if he shows up right now. So that's why even uh, in competitive games, you can have a lane, a bot lane that's like, you know, brand support against Leona, right? Where brand has a lot longer range than Leona. He's, he can harass her super hard, but he's gonna have to be playing aggressive for quite a long time. And if the enemy jungler shows up once, he's dead. Whereas Leona is kind of the case of, you know, I'm just gonna chill, you can poke, but then if the jungler shows up, we'll get a kill. So gank pressure is a really, really important thing in the game. And I think that kind of can make laners play safer than otherwise, because a successful jungle gank can just completely blow up in the game. And so I think if there was no junglers, uh, you'd probably see a lot more interesting lane tactics. You'd see, more aggression in lanes and uh it would be easier to hype up the you know like who's the better bot lane here who's the better mid laner because it would be more of like a 1v1 2v2 situation than a okay i, I can beat you 1v1 but if i get ganked i'm bone kind of deal i don't necessarily want it because i think what would happen if there was no jungler is you just get like some really really oppressive stuff coming out like Zareth level stuff all the time or Mordekaiser where it's like it's impossible to beat this thing 1v1 it's not really a skill match at that point it's just like this guy is gonna push the lane non-stop and just shit on me under turret uh, but I'd probably just play whatever yeah so my biggest uh I guess worry with the new rune system is that sometimes it feels like you're just trying to find a champion that fits which runes are good rather than finding runes that fit the champion you want to play because I think League is the most fun when it's like you can just play your favorite champion and then use different runes build different items to make it fit different situations because I'm a big Elise player I think she's super fun but Elise has kind of been pushed into this like really niche role where it's like if you're not taking advantage of her level three dives which are super unfair you're going to be so useless for the entire game and i'm like that's not that fun um i i like playing elise more as like a mage who's kind of like utility and then can also like go melee form for like some big dps and i think that part of her is really cool so with the runes it's like i can take sorcery which I've tried like taking area or comment, but that's just terrible. You're pretty much forced to do electrocute. And then like, if you just don't have the stats to fight the other junglers, you're just gonna be so useless. And then she like, can't really farm her camps because I think the change they did to machete and talismans like pretty weird since it's, you either take machete and you do both your buffs really fast or you take talisman and you're able to farm the other camps. 
it's there's not really like in between unless there's just a champion like Rexai or something who can farm everything with a machete really easily. So I think that kind of stuff is kind of like leading some weird jungle imbalances. And hopefully there's like some more changes in the future that kind of like equalize that stuff and just make more champions accessible. And I would like it if it was, you know, there were runes in place that could take it. So like everyone's had that team comp where like, say you're the AD carry and your teammates lock in like Riven top, Yasuo mid, Lee Sin, AD. It's just like, well, no matter what I pick, this game's gonna suck. So I wish there was more like things in place to kind of salvage that situation where it's like, if these people just love to play these champions, I wish there were more systems in the game to like let them work together. Like maybe some weird thing that's like, you can convert your physical damage to magic or your magic to physical, something like that. Just to get around some of the like, mm, problems with having like too much of one damage type in it because it feels bad like say there's a lot of like one tricks you just really identify with the champion right but it's like okay well you're trolling your team if you pick this so i would like to see more things to just like enable more champions to be played and not played because they're just like blatantly broken with some kind of rune where it's like oh yeah you know uh, i'm trying to think of a good example but like um unsealed spell books one that's kind of just like going crazy it's like if you aren't gonna get completely destroyed by like someone with another rune you just take unsealed spell look and you have a three minute flash so i still think there could be some improvements to the runes but overall it's pretty interesting for more league interviews and analysis subscribe to our channel you can also find stats discussions and more on our website and mobile app at blitzesports.com